Um, yeah, so just a quick video, hopefully it won't be too long today. Um, yeah, just gonna run through how to install SharePoint uh, 2013 SP1 in preparation for uh, the AX 2012 installation and ultimately Enterprise Portal. Um, I'm gonna need some music for this one because installing SharePoint is boring. Um, let's hit up some chromatics to start. Cool, okay, so log into your system which it should come up with. Cool. We're gonna open that download folder that we had in the previous episode. There's our software. Um, so there's a SharePoint, should be SB1. Double click that guy. Yeah, this is gonna take some time. Um, and the, the actual text is gonna be time. on the new ASP.NET, uh, I think it's called Core, then um, you can literally run a Linux web server such as Apache on your .NET web application, um, which is really cool. Um, to be honest, I was hoping that uh, uh, AX7 would have a bit more uh, hooks into ASP.NET. It might, but the way, I haven't seen that much too, too. Yeah, anyway. So, Microsoft SharePoint 2013, boom, 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 gonna restart. So yeah, we'll just hit finish. It's gonna restart the system. Um, then we just gotta wait a while, really. Um, so it'll take a few minutes, probably more. I was having a few issues earlier with uh, starting up my Azure Virtual Machine. So you can see uh, it's kind of, it was working. I mean, things were happening on the server, um, but remote desktop wasn't letting me log in. So first I try to restart the, the, the server. Hope that would happen or, or help me out. It didn't. Ultimately, what I had to do was I had to stop the server, restart it, and then connect. Um, this happens occasionally. Not, it's not. It doesn't happen heaps, but yeah. Look, it's one of those things. Sometimes you might have to stop your virtual server uh, and just give it a nice little restart or, or, or a fresh start. Um, cool. So let's see if that's all done. So I'm gonna hit that up. So. If this kind of times out, then we know that uh, the server's still doing a bunch of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I can see for a fact it's still doing some stuff because this should go in immediately. So I'm just gonna pause this and resume once it's finished restarting. Okay, so it should be back up. So double click that little guy. There we go. Bang, bang, put in your password. 
Remember me, even though it never does. Okay, now what it should do is it should load it. It'll do a few more odds and ends. So just let it do its magic. Um, yeah, and what this is doing is getting all those prereqs ready. So this isn't actually even the installation of SharePoint. This is literally just the prereqs. Um, but yeah, like I said, and I'll probably repeat it a few times, it's always good install in SharePoint 2013 SP1 first in any AX 2012 deployment. Whether that's for a developer box, a user acceptance testing box, production box, staging box, um, whatever you want to do, right? It's just SharePoint sometimes doesn't play nice if you install it after you've installed your AOS and all of that. And then the frustrating thing is you might spend a day compiling AX and getting it all nice and clean and then you try and install SharePoint and it breaks everything, right? So now you've wasted a day. So look, you may be lucky and, and, and it may not break anything, but it's broken a few times on me and you know, days a long time to be wasting around with servers in the grand scheme of things. Um, well, especially if you're a consultant, right? And, and, and you're trying to, yeah, uh, get out there and, and add value um, or real value. So, I mean, yeah, just my advice. Take it, don't take it. Okay, this is gonna take a while again. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up some shortcuts. So what I'm doing now is I'm just pinning this to my taskbar so that everything's kind of nice and available uh, and easy access for me. Um, so I'm also gonna just take active directory users and computers. And I'm also gonna pin that to the taskbar. Cool. Okay, system needs to restart. It does this, cool. So we're gonna hit that up. Okay, I'm gonna pause it again. So bear with me. Cool, we're back up. Um, cool, so let's open up the server again. It's our decisions in life that define us. Vino Mofo, the most epic wine site on the planet. Cool, we're back up. And let's see what happens. Yeah, still cracking on. So what we can do now in the meantime is we can... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, I was going to save this step for another video, but might as well make hay while the sun shines and all. So what we're going to do is just set up some system accounts for uh, basically our AX users. So I'm going to open... Active Directory Users and Computers. Ah, okay. Well, here's the installation is complete, which is cool actually, because it doesn't require a restart. So let's finish that off. Um, so what I want to do here is I just want to create a new folder. Uh, and what I call this is, I call it just AX uh, Service Accounts. Cool. And we've got these users. So I'm the admin, I've got uh, all the elevated privileges, so we want our system accounts to have those too. Just gonna right click on my name and go copy. I'm gonna call this AOS. Cool. And I'm gonna say user cannot change password and password never expires. And this is what I'm talking about earlier, if you still remember, about how you wanna have a company policy with passwords. Uh, so I use the same for all my system accounts and then that way it's easy enough to debug them um, Works for me. You'll call how you want to do it Cool, so created AOS. I'm just going to drag that over to the AX service account. Yeah, I don't care about that. So yeah There's my AOS now Now I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to create uh, BCP which is business connector which we'll get into at a later stage same story, I'm going to add the same administrative password, so if I was debugging any one of those accounts, I'd be able to. Cool. And I'm also going to create one for management reporter. Uh, 
Uh, I might be missing one, but if I do, I'll just add it at a later point. Um, I think that should be grand for now. Uh, the other thing is, these guys are probably going to have to be added to SQL. Uh, so let me do that at a later stage. Let's finish installing the SharePoint. I got distracted. Sorry, guys. Uh, cool. Let's close this. Let's open SharePoint again. And now, this might not even work because it might require a system restart. Um, so let's just try though. So we're going to try and install SharePoint Foundation. Cool, we're going to accept the license terms. Ignore this, just go install now. Cool, well that's working. So this will take a while. Actually not too bad because these systems are pretty blitz uh, when it comes to like CPU and RAM. Uh, also it's got an SSD, so I mean that's that seems like it's blazing through it. Um, what we're gonna do is once SharePoint's finished installing, we're also gonna just configure it. Um, yeah, um, and then ultimately we'll leave SharePoint until uh, our AOS and client have been installed, uh, and then we'll configure it after that. Um, so might as well add while we're waiting for this, add those uh, users I created into SQL. So let's open SQL. So again, if you search in, you can just, you can, I've pinned this now to my taskbar. So it's nice and easy. I don't have to always search for it. If you wanted to search for it, just hit uh, Windows button Q, search for SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, yeah, sorry about the tiny text guys, but have a word to Microsoft. Maybe they'll listen. Uh, cool, so security, logins. I'm gonna go and new login. And I'm gonna search for AOS. There's the AOS. Um, and I'm gonna make this guy pretty much everything. Cool. So there's the AOS. I'm also gonna look for BCP. Uh, do, do, do. And I'm also gonna just give them all the roles. I know this is best practice, but I couldn't be bothered debugging at a later stage. So if you're pedantic and you want to choose specific roles, go right ahead. Cool. Happy days. And close that. Oh, and we're getting to the finalization of the installation of SharePoint. Um, yeah. Um, so I hope this. Like I said, there's a lot of downtime in infrastructure. I mean, like, I guess if you wanted, like, an easy gig in AX, you'd really just become an infrastructure guy. Although, having said that, some of the biggest pain points and the most horrible discussions around AX revolve around infrastructure and performance. So, uh, you think you might be getting an easy gig and you're probably getting one of the worst gigs. Um, also, most clients' AX infrastructure is set up. I don't know what they do, man. Like, you go in there and it's like, I don't know, someone, someone, <laughs> like, it's like they let a pack of monkeys lose or some shit, I don't know, like, it's crazy, um, so, yeah, infrastructure is very important, you get it right, um, yeah, um, yeah, cool, okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, um, configure it, right, so, we're just gonna click next, yeah, say yes, now we're gonna create a new server farm, and we want to choose the database server, so that's the name of our server. So if you don't know the name of your server, you can push Windows X, and you can hit System, and just find the name, right? So mine's Kudu ERP. It was maybe something different. Cool. 
hit up a username. So I'm going to use my name because I have full admin on this box. Cool. Okay, passphrase, again, you see, like, there's passwords all over the shop, right? So, you know, now if I had set up a different password for all three of those service accounts, this passphrase, plus my um, Active Directory, I mean, that's like six passwords I have to maintain. So now how is that going to get maintained in an organization? It's not. So what people are going to start sharing those passwords, it's, it's, it's just a recipe for disaster. So have a policy, like, you, you know, yeah. It's a good idea. Cool, this is going to take a bit of time, right? Uh, so I'm going to leave this pause and then we'll come, we'll continue once it's configured all of this stuff. Cool. Okay, we're back up and running. As you can see, if you look at Azure, uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on, right? So that's the CPU. You can see there's a lot of disk read and write, and that's because it's right into the database. If I open back the server, boom, 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 configuration successful. Now you might run into some issues here. Uh, there's a whole heap of reasons why that can occur. Um, yeah, um, I think it'll be cool if you do run into any issues, write it in the comment. Uh, I'll try to answer it, we can debug it, uh, and then ultimately the next people that watch this video will hopefully see your comments and if they got the same issue, you can help them fix theirs, right? Pass it forward a little. Cool, so we're gonna finish that up. And now it's going to go to uh, the browser. It's going to open up the configuration of the SharePoint. Um, and what that's going to do is it's going to ask you, do you want to... Oh, first of all, I need to log in. So I use my name. Uh, so I'm going to log in with that. There you go. Okay. I like to... Well, not after this, but... I like to also do favorites of all of these kind of common accessed uh, websites. So I'm going to save that password because this is my user login and I'll be using it, this browser, so it should be grand. Sorry, Microsoft, I'm not going to participate. And I don't want the wizard. I will configure it myself. Now it's going to take a bit of time. SharePoint's, I mean... I'm going to talk about it a lot, but AX is notoriously slow, and SharePoint, uh, and by extension, Enterprise Portal, uh, is some of the worst of that. Um, so I'm going to put a little star here, hit it up as like a, a favorite, and I also want to view my bookmark bar so that, I don't understand, yeah, like, uh, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is save all my kind of commonly accessed uh, pages on here. So, Cool, SharePoint's done, happy days, well done. If you have gotten this far, um, yeah, you're pretty much on the way to being an AX DevOps person, so congratulations.